Let's get to grips with FL Studio 11's new hybrid synthesizer, Groove Machine Synth, by creating a simple growling bass. <laughs> Load it up as a new channel. We're working from its controls default positions. In the wave shape section, pick Ogre for wave 1 from the drop down menu, and Saw Retro for wave 2. We'll balance the output of the two waveforms by setting the OSC2 control in the mix section to 0.40%. Let's turn the noise oscillator up a little to 0.27% for some character. Up the amount of voices in the unison section to 3 to create an additional unison voice, which will make our sound larger. Turning to the modulation area, we set the modulation type to 2 to 1 FM and turn the amount up to 0.27%. This means the second wave is now modulating the first, giving us a more rasping timber. We'll enable the mono voice button in the keyboard section so that the synth plays just one note at a time. We then hit the MIDI EQ button under the modulation section to show the EQ controls and then set the low knob to 4.80 dB to boost the bass. Let's take a listen to how that sounds. Now we're done with the basics of our sound, let's add some effects. The effects section of GMS is designed with touchscreen performance in mind, with an XY pad that adjusts parameters of whichever effect is selected. Choosing Reverb, labelled RVRB from the top list, we click and drag the red point on the XY pad roughly to the top right of the innermost circle. This adjusts the two controls under the XY pad, which are feedback and filter on the reverb effect, but are assigned to different parameters depending on the effect you're using. Notice the glue button is highlighted, sticking the effect on. Now we click Dist along the top to get the distortion effect. As we play notes, we move the red node around the XY pad until we hit upon a few sweeping motions that result in cool sounds. a distortion amount and a filter to get different sweeping bursts of distortion. We can easily record automation in FL using the record button, so once you've worked out what sounds good, you can record yourself sweeping across the XY pad while playing the note clip. After this, select the pattern you recorded from the Current Project Pattern section of the browser to find the X and Y modulation recordings for fine tuning. You'll see in this list GMS FX Param X and GMS FX Param Y. These correspond to the X Y controls in GMS's effects section, so click on one of these to view its recorded automation in an events window. If you want to redraw its automation curves, click the Event Editor Options button, turn on Auto Smoothing and edit it precisely to your liking. 